I'm gonna show you how to recognize ringless honey mushrooms. If you're in the Eastern United States, chances are you're gonna see a lot of these going off uh, sort of as you get your first cool weather and uh, they pop up in these massive clusters next to hardwood trees. Ringless honey mushrooms, like other honey mushroom species, are edible. I would not consider them to be choice, although some people really like them. Uh, they have really, you know, thick and robust uh, stems, and so they need to be cooked very thoroughly, and some people get the farts from them. So generically, I don't eat them, but they are absolutely everywhere, and so it's really uh, fun to get to know them, just in case you're one of those people who's a burgeoning mushroom nerd, and you want to be able to help uh, your friends and family recognize one of the most conspicuous mushrooms of the year. Uh, so let's look at the identification features. As I mentioned, it grows next to hardwood trees and it is parasitic. And uh, they grow in these big clusters with sort of pale gills underneath. And you can see as they get a little more mature, some of those gills start to develop sort of brownish streaks. On the top of the mushroom itself, you have uh, what's called a little umbo. That's not always the case, but uh, like it's a little uh, sort of raised area. And uh, you have the sort of generic tan brown color on the top, but most of them, um, especially when they're younger, it's more conspicuous. They have a little bit of like hairiness or furriness. So like a little bit of blackish or brownish fibrils or what they're called that cling to the top. Uh, as the common name suggests, they are uh, without rings on the stem. The scientific name of this mushroom is Desarmillaria cespitosa. So Armillaria is the genus that has numerous other species of honey mushrooms. Again, all of them uh, sort of parasitic and they live around the world. But Desarmillaria cespitosa describes this uh, North American clustering uh, ringless honey mushroom. And there is a whole lot of uh, you know deep information you can get into about the taxonomy of this and how it's been reclassified to sort of be separated off from the other honey mushrooms. I'm going to make a video that sort of dives into that, but the long and short of it is this is a critter that you'll start to see just kind of go off like a bomb. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in watching mushrooms mature very quickly, they go from, you know, about this size as a cluster to about this size by mid afternoon. And by the following day, you usually have something that's starting to streak and uh, drop an abundance of white spores. They also, when they are um, beyond this point, definitely start to stink to high heaven. And sometimes that's how I discover them, is uh, they're rotting things that have been, uh, you know, felled trees and so forth. But they hide in the undergrowth and put up a foul aroma uh, anytime they come to fruition.